Hello, my friend. You asked me to speak about narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. Well, let me start by saying that when I was trained as a clinical psychologist in France in the 70s, a long time ago, we hardly paid any attention to personality disorders. And this new phenomenon has increasingly become popular because it allows people who have no clinical training to kind of do character assassinations of other people and to do diagnoses on the hoof. So what we're seeing is that People with no clinical training or experience are applying certain ideas and certain specific um, traits that they recognize in people and then calling them out as having this disorder. That's obviously completely wrong. First of all, NPD, which undoubtedly could be said to exist. I mean, it's a useful um, diagnosis in some situations. Doesn't apply probably to more than half percent or one percent of the population and um, should be diagnosed over a very long term observation of a person and is a very complex diagnosis to make. What we see happening instead, though, is that people accuse others, especially people they are in relationship with, as being narcissistic. Now, this is a different thing. When people use the term, you are narcissistic, it usually means that they believe that the other person is selfish or puts themselves first or they are boastful or they're only after their own self-interest and are incapable of empathy and do not take other people into account. So this takes us out of the field of clinical psychopathology and into the field of human relationships. Now it's obvious that many people do put themselves first and that they learn to harden themselves to other people's pain or other people's difficulties or other people's needs. But that is very often because these people feel weak and unable to make space for the other person and unable to make it in a very harsh world unless they foreground their self-interest and keep training themselves and pushing themselves forward. So in a way, our culture and our society encourages this kind of self-centeredness and this kind of self-assertive behavior at the expense of love and care and uh, mutuality and generosity and consideration for each other. So I want to just get away from the clinical field altogether and leave narcissistic personality disorder to the specialists and please steer clear of it. Don't meddle with it. Don't start making diagnoses of your friends or your relations and start opening your eyes, your heart and your mind to where people are coming from. So as a couple therapist, of course, I've come across many couples where, especially the men, come across as very self-centered and focused on their work and their success and their power. And they sometimes use lots of ways to dominate and domineer. And it's very unpleasant. But they do not um, show all these symptoms of uh, resorting to substance abuse, having mood disorders, being abusive, 
and lots of very extreme things that are assumed to be part of the clinical issues. So this much more important area is the area of human relationships and how people care for each other or live with each other or feel done wrong by each other. I'd say to you, have a read of the book One Day by uh, David Nichols, I think it is, which has also been turned into a movie in 2011 and which has recently been done as a Netflix series, which I would strongly recommend. And the reason I recommend it is that it is a expression and a dramatization of that kind of relationship. The relationship between a vulnerable, sensitive, highly empathetic young woman to a very selfish, outwardly focused, um, self-obsessed and self-absorbed person that most people would probably easily call a narcissist. And this relationship is looked at over 20 years, the same day each year, over 20 years since Withens Day as it happens. And you will see the progression in that relationship as the woman learns to look after herself, stand up for herself, never going along with the manipulation or the difficulties that she encounters in that relationship. She doesn't get hardened, she remains herself, she grows, she develops herself. It's a very nice, nice story really from that perspective. But the man does too. He comes to realize as the blows of life hit him that his way of operating in this narcissistic manner is not going to bring him in contact and close contact and intimacy and it's not going to make him a life in which he has love and there is clearly a huge desire for love in this man and this is exactly what I have found in working with people who had been quite quickly um, called narcissistic they were actually people who were hurt by the world in certain ways and had therefore distorted the way they were in the world. And it was perfectly possible for them to realize this, to very slowly come to realize that things could be different and that they could have a much, much more meaningful life if they stopped being so afraid of intimacy and of looking inside of themselves and creating a relationship with themselves and therefore become capable of being truly in relationship with their partner. So this is what I feel very strongly about. My experience has shown that diagnosing people in these ways is often malicious. It's a trick to put one person in an objectified position and treating them as the other, the other who is evil and bad and the cause of all problems, and then create the impossibility of progress for that person, kind of damning them to that role. That is not how we should treat each other. We should treat each other with respect understanding and care and if we come across people who aren't capable of being with others with respect understanding and care then we need to provide them with ways of finding out how they can do that so i am against this current fashion of naming and labeling and making easy judgments about people's characters and I am in favor of looking again 
and getting people themselves to look again instead of accusing them of having this mental disorder, which is uncurable, as people like to say. So what do we gain by doing that? We just create a more polarized world in which we persecute each other and we go along with this game of dominating or, you know, winning and losing in relationships. We can do a lot better than that, my friend. Take care. I hope this helps a bit.